As Afghanistan prepares for elections in September, security is high among voters' concerns. Even as Taliban talks peace in Qatar, attacks continue across the country. Hani Fatmar is a former Minister of Interior and a former National Security Advisor. He's also a presidential candidate and a leading figure in the intra-Afghan talks. He spoke to TRT World about the security situation and the way to bring peace to Afghanistan. You were the Minister of Interior and National Security Advisor during the rise of violence and the rise of Daesh. How do you see the current situation in the country? Do you think it has become worse? It is still uh, challenging from many perspectives. Um, though Daesh has been largely reduced in the east of the country, it is still uh, a threat not just a threat to Afghanistan, but also to the region. Uh, they are trying to find a foothold uh, in the east of the country, uh, where uh, or from where they are planning to grow in, not just into the country, but in the region. So it's an important issue, uh, not just for Afghanistan and NATO, but also for the region to work together to confront there are, of course, uh, several armed groups operating in the country. Aside from the Taliban, uh, there is, of course, Daesh, and there is the Haqqani group, and perhaps a few others. How would a peace deal with the Taliban bring a comprehensive and lasting peace to Afghanistan? There are three categories of insurgents and foreign fighters. Taliban plus the Haqqani group, the national ones, then there are regional foreign fighters from various countries, including Central Asia, China, Pakistan, in in variety of different groups, ranging from lashkar e taiba to ETIM and IMU. And then there are international groups such as Al-Qaeda and Daesh. The intention is to make peace with the Taliban and uh, with the hope that a peace between Taliban and the government of Afghanistan will deny um, any sanctuary to Daesh, Al-Qaeda, and other foreign fighters. So in fact, peace with the Taliban uh, will be the most effective counter-terrorism uh, against the foreign fighters. And you have faith in the Taliban as a reliable um, counter-terrorism partner? We, we have to try to make peace with them. Uh, this is a national priority uh, um, uh, because the Taliban have shown interest in, in peace and the peace with the Taliban will be certainly an effective counter-terrorism strategy. So you have been supportive of the U.S.-Taliban talks, and you have also been um, a leading figure in the parallel intra-Afghan dialogue. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your discussions with, the, with Pakistani officials in this context? We did have a number of good meetings with Pakistani state officials. In those meetings, what we heard uh, most frequently was that uh, a, Pakistan is in favor of improved bilateral relations with, with Afghanistan, and B, that they are fully committed to supporting peace with the Taliban. You have a reputation as a reformer, as a modernist. Can you tell me a little bit about your vision? What vision are you offering voters? Uh, we strongly believe that it is the responsibility of the state to strengthen the national unity of the Afghan people, which is central to peace or uh, good governance or development of the country. Unfortunately, it has been badly damaged by the wrong policies of the current government. Uh, justice and development will be the other top priorities um, to tackle the level of poverty that has been so badly increased by the wrong policies of, of the past, this will be our top priorities.